आ फैमिली रिलेशन हाँ वी नो दैट रिलेटिव आर नॉट सो हैप्पी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस यू पी एस सी एंड एनी अदर एग्जाम और इफ यू फॉलो योर ड्रीम्स दे दे मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दे वॉन्ट बी हैप्पी लाइक दे विल से वॉट 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 यू आर डूइंग हाँ बट इन दिस केस इफ यू हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ रिलेशंस तो वी कैन गेट अ वन मार्क हाँ सो लेट ट्राई टू हैंडल इट एंड सी वी वी नो दैट इफ मेल इज दियर वी विल रिप्रेजेंट मेल with a letter inside square box and a female with a letter inside a circle okay now let's say i want to say a is the son a is the son of b a is the son of b so a inside a square and it is a son so downward arrow it's a son so downward arrow now i want to say C and D are brothers. So C and D are brothers. So C and D both inside the square box, and they I will join them with the help of a single line. If I want to show uh, E and F are husband and wife, or they are couple, so I will join them with a double arrow. So since they are couple, so let's say E is male, so F should be a female. so these are the few things or few uh, mnemonics that we will use to solve this question okay now let's talk about this problem in this problem examiner is saying a family of two generations consisting of six members p q r s t u has three males and three females okay we are sure that there are three males and three females okay so this is important statement three males and three females okay now there are two married couple two married couple fine family of two generation two married couple and two unmarried siblings two unmarried siblings okay u is p's daughter now u is p's daughter so i will join p and u with the help of a downward arrow at the same time please pay attention in this case u is p's daughter so we know the gender of u but we don't know the gender of p so i have written p as it is without any square without any circle so just write p as it is now q is r's mother in law this is one of the statement now q is r's mother in law q is q is let me erase this one because we we have understood the meaning q is r's mother in law so there are two possibility for it q is r's mother in law so q should be a female right and since she is a mother in law so it means this q must have a husband right and it may possible that they have a son they have a son whose wife whose wife is r whose wife is r see q is mother in law so it must we we are definite uh, we are quite sure that q must be married okay if q is married and q is mother in law so definitely this has a husband and it may possible that they have a son and this r is the wife of that son it is the one of the possibility now let's talk about one what else is a possibility hmm? okay what else is a possibility nothing So let's talk about it now. Uh, T is unmarried male and S is a male. T is unmarried. T is unmarried male. T is unmarried male. So it means neither T nor T. I cannot say T is the husband of Q. I cannot say T is the husband of R because T is unmarried. T is unmarried. It is given. 
सो यू एन एम फॉर अनमेरिड एंड एस इज अ मेल ओके एस इज अ मेल नाउ नाउ प्लीज पे हाउ मेनी जनरेशन आर देयर ओनली टू जनरेशन आर देयर हाउ मेनी जनरेशन ओनली टू जनरेशन सो दिस क्यू एंड हर हजबेंड इज द फर्स्ट जनरेशन एंड दिस आर एंड हर हजबेंड इज द सेकेंड जनरेशन सो वी हैव टू फिट इन ऑल द गिवेन पर्सन इन दीज टू जनरेशन ओनली ओके नाउ देर आर टू ओके यू इज यू इज पीज डॉटर यू इज पीज डॉटर इट मीन्स it it signify something we are talking about two generation we are talking about two generation right you is p is a daughter so i cannot fix i cannot fix p over here i cannot fix p over here why because if we fix p over here then you is p is a daughter so in this case we will have three generation first generation from which q is belonging uh, from uh, the first generation to which q belongs second generation to which p and r belongs and third generation to which u belongs so we cannot fix p in this square the reason being examiner is saying there are only two generation so other possibility to fixing u and p is this possibility p over here and u over here now p is u's daughter p is u's daughter so i cannot fix u over here because this is a male and u u is a daughter so u is a female so there another possibility to to correct it is is that the u the u daughter of p is the sister of this person we don't know this person yet but the sister of this person okay now okay so we have fixed p we have fixed u right we know two male one is p another is t we know two males right third male is s so definitely this space should be filled by s this space should be filled by s okay now what we are left with uh there are two married couple and two and no now we know the married couple is q and p then another married couple is s and r so two unmarried siblings two unmarried siblings so definitely t and u must be siblings of each other t and u must be siblings of each other okay so this is uh, the uh, diagram or family diagram for this particular question now what we want to answer which one of the following is correct r is u's husband r is u's husband no r is s wife yes s is unmarried no and none of above okay so answer is option b so answer is option b okay see a ah, a frog a frog problem ha huh? see a frog tries to come out of a dried well 4.5 meter deep with slippery walls so let's say it's a it's a it's a well assume this to be a well ha huh? assume it to be a well i am very bad with drawing so forgive me for this okay so just try to understand the concept ha huh? it's a well and uh, the height of this well is 4.5 meter 4.5 meter if you convert 4.5 meter into centimeter so 1 centimeter 1 meter is 100 centimeter so 4.5 meter is 4.5 into 100 that is equals to 450 centimeter so let's say uh, uh, given height of this well given height of this well is 450 cm now what examiner is saying examiner is saying there is a frog the walls of these are slippery walls walls are slippery and over here there is a frog over here there is a frog okay now <coughs> <clears throat> so what what happens 
every time frog jumps 30 cm it slides down 15 cm every so in in first jump in first jump it will attain or achieve a height of 30 cm but slips down 15 cm so effectively in single jump he is able to reach 15 cm only so this is the effective this is the effective height effective height achieved in one jump that is 15 cm now what we people usually do for this case sir total height is 450 divided by 15 because in one jump it is 15 cm so 450 minus uh, divided by 50 30 jumps should be the answer and they will mark option c directly but it's a wrong choice it's a wrong choice it's a wrong choice it is not correct there is a reason do remember whenever there is a case of like going 30 centimeter in one jump and then sliding 15 centimeter like like both like increment and decrement both are happening at the same time do remember it huh increment and decrement both are happening in the same at the same time okay or there is something like this for example in the questions of uh, pipes and cistern a pipe can fill a tank in two minutes and in the next second another pipe can 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 fill uh, can uh, empty that tank so tank is being filled and tank is being emptied by the fact of two pipes at the same time similarly in this case frog is attaining a height and then getting slipped attaining a height again and getting slipped so in these kind of situation this is not the right answer so to get the right answer just go just go this much distance behind from the actual distance okay every time frog jumps 30 centimeter 30 centimeter is the height he will achieve if he don't slips down or if he don't slide okay so just go for this much distance behind so 450 450 is the actual distance so 450 minus 30 420 centimeter and check out how many jumps you will need or how many jumps that frogs will need to to achieve this height of 420 so to achieve this height of 420 jumps that frog will need will be for, uh, 420 by 15 he the frog will need 28 jump the frog will uh, need 28 jump now frog has achieved this height 420 from the ground <coughs> only 30 30 centimeter is left 420 centimeter has been achieved okay. now in his 29th jump in his 29th jump he will achieve a height of 420 plus 30 that is 450 in his 29th jump his effective height will be 450 now once the frog has get the hold of this point once the frog has get the hold of this point then there is no slippery walls there are no slippery walls after this point see try to understand this is the height of 420 after 420 in his 29th jump frog has attained a height of 30 centimeter extra so 420 plus 30 he will achieve a height of 450 now once he will achieve this height of 450 he will get hold of this point and after this point there is no slippery walls after the height of 450 there is no slippery wall so how can he slide and how can he will slip so there is no possibility of slip 
सो ही विल अचीव द हाइट और ही विल गेट आउट ऑफ और कम आउट ऑफ दैट वॉल इन हिज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ जम्प इन हिज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ जम्प ओके लेट मी रिपीट दिस थिंग वंस अगेन वंस द फ्रॉग विल जम्प फॉर थर्टी सेंटीमीटर सो आफ्टर फोर ट्वेंटी इफ यू जम्प फॉर थर्टी सेंटीमीटर तो ही विल गेट होल्ड ऑफ दिस पॉइंट नाउ आफ्टर दिस पॉइंट देर आर नो स्लिपरी बॉल्स सो इफ देर आर नो स्लिपरी बॉल्स सो वाई यू वुड स्लाइड और वाई ही वुड वाई देयर विल बी अ स्लिपिंग डाउन ही वॉन्ट स्लिप एट ऑल सो दिस इज द मेन पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू कीप इन अवर माइंड वाई solving problems of this kind in which increment and decrement are happening in the same time or increment and decrement kind of thing is there so i hope you got the logic so this is it from 2020 thank you so much we'll meet you in the next video and in that we will discuss all the problems of data interpretation and reasoning and that will be based upon csat 2019 so thank you so much